1.4, number 16. This problem is an order of operations involving decimals and fractions. And you have a couple choices here. Either convert to decimals or convert all to fractions. Let's start off by converting to decimals first, and then I'll do it the other way by converting to fractions. All right, converting to decimals, negative 3 over 5. We can multiply times 2 times 2 and get minus 6 tenths which is minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 take away <coughs> minus 2 fifths again try to make 10, 100, or 1000 on the denominator or plug it into your calculator 2 divided by 5 this can give us minus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 um, the only thing to watch out for if you're converting to decimals is you can only use this method <coughs> if it converts to a decimal that ends. So if you have a decimal that has a repeating part, like two-thirds would be 0 .6666 repeating forever, then you can't use this approach. All right, now we can go ahead and minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 would give us 0 0.2 because we have different signs, so we keep the sign of the bigger number and find the difference of the numbers. And then minus negative 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 goes to 0. So our answer would be 0 0.2. And as a fraction, 0 0.2 is the same as 2 tenths, and 2 tenths reduces to 1 fifth. <coughs> All right, that's doing it converting to decimals. Convert to fractions instead. And converting to fractions is, in a way, safer because you can always do it this way. You don't have to watch out for anything. Just some some people don't like converting to uh, fractions, that's all. So we have minus 3 fifths plus 0 0.8 is the same as 8 tenths. Take away minus 2 fifths plus 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is 4 tenths. And let's go ahead and reduce 8 tenths and 4 tenths. We can reduce both of those. So a rewrite, we get minus 3 fifths plus, divide by 2 top and bottom, we get 4 fifths. Take away minus 2 fifths plus 4 tenths, divide by 2 top and bottom, is 2 fifths. And just like with the decimals, minus 2 fifths plus 2 fifths goes to 0. Minus 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5 is minus 3 plus 4 over 5. Different signs, therefore keep the sign of the bigger one positive and find the difference of the numbers, one fifth. All right, so you're going to get the same answer both ways, just depends on how you like doing it.